and welcome to The Fumble. I'm Britt Johnson. Make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already. This video from before last night's Warriors game should have been a sign that Steph Curry was about to go off and have one of the best games of his life. Check this out. Yeah, when Steph Curry hits shots like that, nobody is safe. Steph was dominating the court so hard, Kevin Durant checked out before the game was even over. I mean, I know it's the Wizards, but with less than 10 minutes left in the match, the back-to-back -back finals MVP has to be taken out of the game after taking it to the house. Check this out. But let's get to the real star of the show, the guy that will probably go down as the best shooter of all time, Stephen Curry. Listen to these stats, guys. Steph scored 51 points in three quarters. He was 15 of 24 in the field goal range and 11 of 16 for three pointers and was 100% from the line with 10 free throws made. With Wednesday night's game, Steph passed Jamal Crawford to be ranked the fifth on the all-time three-pointers list. He only needs 53 more to pass Kyle Korver and 121 more to pass Jason Terry for the third place spot. Curry was just so amazing to watch last night that even Kelly Oubre couldn't believe what Curry did, especially after this one particular shot. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oubre wasn't the only Wizards player, though, who was in awe of Curry and didn't really know exactly how to guard him. Bradley Bill had this hilarious response on how to handle Curry after the game. When you're playing against him, though, and he's hitting those shots, or he's in the zone, what can you do defensively to stop him? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Even when we did that, you're still making so but at the end of the day, like Bill said, he still made all his shots at the line too. But hey, one point is definitely better than three points, right? And John Wall was asked about how Curry made the Wizards defense look and was completely honest by saying this. Like early on, he just made some tough shots, uh, but it was a little bit of us like not communicating on our switches. Early, but some of them is like when he's hot, he's hot. Then getting off his rebounds, he does a great job of moving, relocating, get open shots. But uh, he just got into a rhythm, he made tough shots. So the real question here is, will Steph Curry, during his NBA career, go down as the best three-point shooter of all time? Ray Allen currently holds the record for the most three-pointers ever made with 2,973. So let me know what you guys think, if he'll beat it in the comments below. Follow me on social media at I am Britt Johnson. Don't forget to like this video, click subscribe, and shop the Fumble store for the latest game day gear. I'm your host, Britt Johnson for the Fumble, and I'll see you soon.